You know what I hate? When YouTube videos have absurd clickbait titles that don't accurately reflect the video itself, and then you have videos that string together a bunch of facts and speculations to try to distort or cast doubt on the reality of a situation. It's terrible. Let me channel my inner Tucker Carlson and give you an example which should not be construed as factual. This is broken system, broken trust, and he doesn't like the government. But is that for a good reason, or is it a byproduct of stupid prizes won from stupid games? Well, let's hope one of those prizes is extra plates and silverware, because he might as well be setting an extra place at the table for CPS, who regularly interrupts his wife's alleged alcohol abuse to give her, to put it politely, fewer responsibilities. A woman that, according to Broken System himself, doesn't have a driver's license, despite still driving. Now, surely the father is still in the picture, right? Perhaps he could spend time being a responsible adult, unless he was being charged with felony possession of a controlled substance, something that children and probably adults shouldn't be around. What substance? Would you believe heroin and crack? Would this convince you? And he appears to have his own issues with alcohol, judging by his confession that he received an other than honorable discharge from the Marines due to a DUI that he got when he was under 21. Which means he can't even claim to be a veteran, since to be a veteran you have to be honorably discharged, so that whole once a Marine, always a Marine thing? out the window. And let's not even address his conviction for embezzlement or his confession to intentionally violating other laws. So what can we conclude about a felon who's married to an alcoholic who associates with conspiracy theorists who thinks it's funny to make fun of people with neurological disorders who promotes rhetoric from an organization that he himself has acknowledged was identified as a domestic terrorist group by the FBI, an organization based on the teachings of a man who inspired the Aryan nations, which is a neo-Nazi organization. You remember the Nazis, right? They rounded up, killed people with neurological disorders? Sure, he's making fun of the disabled now, but what will he be doing to them in five years? Makes you think. Is that a stretch? Perhaps. But it isn't exactly difficult to formulate an opinion on why he might not be the best person to give custody of a child to. Josh, I've been told that you've been kicked out of your apartment as of today. What a shame. Don't forget that in Michigan, you can be evicted for illegal drug use and for assaulting tenants. And it's pretty hard to retain custody when you don't have a home or when you're using drugs in front of your kids or when you're assaulting family members. But you're 45, so you probably have this all figured out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna stick around, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here again. And until the next time, be good, stay safe.